you know, everything comes full circle when you put a bad head coach in charge and you also put his buddy, quote unquote buddy, until he got him out of here in charge and Jack Easterby, when you have two incompetent people at the head of a of a of a football franchise, this is the results you get. You get a one in six team, a team that kind of has no future at the moment because you don't have a first round pick, you don't have a second round pick. If you would have kept them, you would have been you would have had a high top five pick, top ten pick, whatever, whichever. Now you're looking at a now you're looking at a situation where. You're going to have to trade players so that the new head coach next year could come in and have some picks. We're going to discuss it next, guys. Let's cue the intro. It's the city of the dream team. I came to win. Yes, 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 And I remember hot summer, hot winter. I couldn't fight, so the block. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to 713 Houston Sports. It's Mr. 713. I apologize for my absence. Work got a little hectic. You see my hair is growing back. And I know I'm cracking jokes and trying to be modest with you guys. But it, but it really is a sorry, sorry situation that we're in. You know, we have talent. We, we, we do. We have Deshaun Watson. We have Lerman Tunn. So we have good wide receivers. I mean, they just, it, it's just they're just not put in a position to win. And, you know, the defense, a lot of people could just really talk on, you know, talk so much trash about the defense. They're doing the best they can. There's nothing else they could do. When you lose a DJ reader and Cunningham's taking a step back, Justin Reed looks absolutely horrible out there. You don't have Gary on Conley. Bradley Roby just got hurt. There's nothing more that you could expect from this defense to do but be bad. The only bright spot is J.J. Watt. And it looks like, I, I mean, I, you, you, you kind of get that feeling that this is J.J. Watt's last game as a Houston Texan. The bye week is next. You're going to look to trade him. And, you know, if, and if this is a long video, I do apologize. You know, I usually try to keep him between four. But it just we just really have to talk about how this whole thing started. It started with Bill O'Brien. And I hate to keep on talking about the man, but he screwed up the franchise. You know, when you draft Deshaun Watson, you think in three or four years, we're going to be contending for Super Bowls. No. Three or four years, you're now looking at needing a new head coach and looking at needing a, a brand new different roster. You know, it started with the trading of DeAndre Hopkins who leads the league in catches and yards for a running back who is just absolutely horrible, isn't a playmaker, doesn't do things for your team, you don't get a first-round pick, you you use the second-round pick on Ross Blacklock and you don't use him on defense. That's not O'Brien's fault. He's not here no more. You overpay people. You overpay Eric Murray, who is a nobody. You overpay somebody like Whitney Merciless, who's been showing up, but still, $54 million for him at 30-something years old is a lot of money. It's just, it's really hard to comprehend that we should have saw this coming. I should have saw this coming. The Green Bay Packers just came in and just absolutely just destroyed us. Credit to them. They they knew what our weakness was. The funny thing is, is that we didn't allow... Any of them, I mean, any of the running backs that have a to have a hundred yards rushing. What they did was they attacked our weak corners. Devontae Adams had two hundred yards, a couple touchdowns, fifty four points of fantasy football that he scored against me. Penalties continue to kill this team. On the first drive, when Mercedes gets a sack, there's a penalty on on Eric Murray. Many times the Packers won third down, and they couldn't. Get them off. Now, when the defense started playing good in the second half, towards the later the second half, what happened? The offense couldn't put together a drive. You had two trips down in the red zone and field goal, field goal. And there was also a missed field goal by Kami Fairbairn. You know, this Houston Texans team hasn't played a full quarter of football. I'm sorry, a full four quarters of football. And at this point, we just got to look at look at it the way it is. The Houston Texans team is not good. We have good players, 
but it's just not a good roster. Not a good, not put in positions to win. We're going to have to find a way to stockpile draft picks. You know, because at this point, you're going to, if you're going to get a low, if you're going to keep on losing, you might as well trade some people away. This might be the last time J.J. Watt is on the team. Stills is on the team. Who knows? But it's a sad day if you're a Houston Texans fan, knowing that this might be the last time J.J. Watt puts on that red, blue, and white. Hope you guys have a blessed rest of the Sunday. Y'all have a blessed day.